At Elm Grove School for the last few months we've been doing a special piece of scientific work. This work has been helping us and some scientists from Imperial College in London find out more about air quality in and around our school. How the quality of air affects our environment and what we might all be able to do to improve it. Imperial College and a company called Duvast Technologies have put some monitoring equipment in and around our school, including on the busy main road outside. This equipment is quite experimental and has only been used in a few places. It was put into another school in Brighton and Hove last year. Now it has come to us at Elmgrove Primary. Eventually it will go to another school after us. The project is called Emissions VMS. That's Variable Messaging Systems. It means information from the monitoring equipment is shown on a big plasma screen in the school so everyone can see it all the time. As well as the plasma screen, there are other pieces of equipment around the school. They are all recording the traffic emissions day and night. Dr Mark Richards is from Imperial College. Well this unit is, uh, we refer to it as the OP2 unit, so it's the second generation of our open path unit. And by open path, what that means is we send a beam of light across the street it gets reflected and returns back to this unit. We then collect that light and analyze it. And we can determine from that what types of uh, pollutants are present in the beam, or as, as we would say, in the optical path. So as a car emits uh, pollution, uh, or as the, the car drives through the beam, it will, the engine will emit certain chemicals, and we can actually detect what they are. And all this can be done in real time. So we've installed a weather station, uh, and the weather station basically measures us the temperature, the humidity, the wind speed and wind direction. And what we found is that all of these factors affect the pollution values that we measure with our conventional units. And so we have to take this into account if we're going to get a true insight into what are the links between emissions at, main, at the main road and also what we breathe in, what we measure in the school grounds. The final thing I'd like to say really is that all of this data is fed via a database and then displayed on a plasma screen in the school grounds or I should say in the school, so that all of the school can actually view this data. And in fact, some of the uh, school kids can actually analyse the data, pretty much like what a scientist does. Well, this is actually the 006 unit. Uh, that's what we refer to it as. And basically, it's now a closed path unit. So it still has a, a, a light path, an optical beam, but this time it's in a closed unit so now we, we sample the air in so we're sampling ambient air and then we're measuring the pollutants in this air that we sampled in the similar manner to the roadside unit uh, and what we want to do and what we plan to do is see how we can compare the ambient air quality with the emissions at the local main road from the vehicles to see if there, it has any sort of impact on uh, what we breathe in in the school grounds. Well now we're seeing all the data from the various units in, that we've deployed all being displayed on the screen. So all that data can be viewed instantaneously and not only that you can start to make real-time decisions about when's a good time to, to play, uh, whether uh, for example the school run, whether that actually affects the local air quality. So there's lots of information you can look at and decide for yourself. We all know air is all around us, but there's still a lot even the scientists don't know about air quality and how it's affected by different things. Such as traffic, industry, the weather, or even being near the sea like us. You can't usually see or smell the air, but this project lets us see the air quality. Imperial College started collecting air quality data during what school week? We started being able to see figures and graphs showing the pollutants in the air in and around our school. We had visits to the school from Imperial College's educational team. They are called Opal. They talked to us in the school gardens about the carbon cycle and we looked at things that emit chemical pollutants and things that absorb them. Nobody gets to the hang of all the questions with pollution. I mean, we've made a career out of uh, the questions to do with pollution. They're big issues and lots of uh, things involved but it's important to get an idea of some of the issues involved. So when you see these things debated on the television or uh, the radio or your parents talking about them, that you can start to understand some of the issues that are involved with, the, uh, with pollution in general, rather than needing to understand it all at once. Nathan and Emma from Opal gave us another way to see what's happening in the air around us. We are looking out for lichens because they are natural air quality monitors. 
Their shape and colour tells us a lot about air quality and we put test tubes in and around the school too. This helps us and the scientists see what's happening. But if they're fluffy on trees, um, the air is nice and clean. But if they're flat, then the air is quite polluted. I look forward to seeing when, they, when the scientists come back, seeing all the different results. We also went to London to work in Imperial Outreach Laboratory and do some experiments that helped us learn about liquids, gases and solids and about different pollutants, particularly transport emissions. The fact that they went uh, um, up to the Science Museum and um, the University was a real boost for them you know, to, keep them, to keep their interests really high um, and they, they've taken to it really well. The, the wearing of the, um, Black carbon monitors, taking them home, coming back, looking at the information, all that sort of thing. You know, they've taken real ownership of it and they've done independent things themselves related to the project. Yeah, I think it's gained a tremendous amount. Um, from the point of view of the children, it's great for them to be involved in environmental issues. Um, the community itself has had knowledge of the project because of the plasma screen and the information that's going out there. So the parents and children are seeing what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the project itself um, sort of dovetailed in with the Year 6 project about recycling. Uh, so it's been really, really, really useful. Um, we've been testing the air and how you can find out how much pollution it has in it. Yeah, yeah. learnt more than start. When I first came here, I didn't really think I was going to learn a lot. I thought it would just be a bit boring because it's science, but it's quite enjoyable. Well, I didn't really know much about nitrogen or any of the gases we've been talking about, so it's been really interesting to learn about yeah. them. All our data is being collected and analysed at the moment. The Imperial are going to come back to us later in the year to tell us what they found out.